We are officially past the first trimester of pregnancy. Woo! Let's get it. Let's get it. We did it successfully and safely. And we thought that it would be really cool to share what our overall experience has been like, you know, just going through the first trimester and expectations for moms and dads to be. So with that said, let's, let's get, get into it. it. We're pregnant. We're pregnant. We are having a baby. Woo. I am officially 15 weeks pregnant. Time yeah, flies. Time is fine, which means we have safely wrapped up our first trimester. And so it's just been so interesting because we had no expectations prior mm -hmm. to going into this. You know, us becoming parents was a surprise for us, a, um, a positive surprise, um, but it was a, sp a surprise to us. So now that we have safely gone through the first trimester and we're now in the season of the second trimester. How are you feeling? What was what was your experience like? I would say it was a whirlwind of emotions, mm -hmm. to be honest. It mm -hmm. was just so many things happening. And, you know, we've been together for so, so long. We've been together for 12, 13 years. Mm -hmm. And we've always been just us two. Yeah. So now we're introducing a whole brand new feature of life that is not just a feature, but is going <laughs> to be the main star of the show. Mm -hmm. And wow, it's just a huge transition, not only physically, but mentally. Yes. And both people have to go through this process together. Obviously, it's a lot for you because you're the woman, you're the one who's actually physically carrying the baby and yeah. going through the physical changes and everything like that. But it's also changes for me as as well as of the course. man. And, you know, the changes that you're going through, um, but then also, you know, just change the mentality of how we move and how we operate and the yeah. things that we're thinking about and talking about the future and things that we want. Mm -hmm. So there's just a lot of changes that, you know, you just, you get thrown into, yes. you get thrown into that. Yeah. And it's, it's actually pretty cool because you start to embrace it. Mm -hmm. You embrace this new type of lifestyle that you have to adapt to. Yeah. And I think, um, adaptation is so huge, yeah. definitely in that first trimester. Yes. The first trimester is obviously the, the, the beginning stages mm -hmm. of you forming and, and, and carrying this baby and, and having a new life that mm -hmm. you now have to support. So that first three months is like, wow, let's change our mentality. Yes. Let's like change everything up. Yeah. So both of us have to go through that transition. Mm -hmm. And from a man's perspective, it's also kind of odd or kind of weird too because I'm not the one that actually has to go through the changes. Yeah. Like I can do in your life I, continues. I on could I could do what uh, for the most part. Yeah, I could yeah. do whatever the heck I want to do, mm -hmm. you know, physically and not have any any there's no side effects or anything like that for yeah. me. But it's more so about caring and supporting and being there for you. Exactly. And that is the thing that, you know, as men, we have to make that adaptation mm -hmm. to say, all right, I have to move a little bit different, yeah. even though I don't physically have to. Yeah. But I should because should. now I'm caring or now my, my woman, my wife or my girlfriend or whoever, hopefully your wife mm -hmm. is, is carrying <laughs> your seed is carrying your child and mm -hmm. you now have to move a little bit different. Yeah. And that's you move with a different sense of responsibility. Exactly. Yeah. And I think that that wraps it up perfectly. Yeah. Uh, that the sense of responsibility has changed Yeah. and you just hit it right on the head. So yeah, that's, that's a great way to wrap up my experience. Yeah. Um, before I go into what the experience has been like for me, it's good to know your perspective. Not that we don't talk about it right. often, but it's good to know because I think, uh, especially from a male's perspective, going through uh, pregnancy, especially in the first trimester, you know, things may feel very normalized for you and, yeah. and things may not change as much. But through time, you will start to notice certain changes because you understand that your responsibility has changed. Right. You may not be going through the physical changes, but you're going through emotional changes to figure out how to best support your woman through this time right. and you're going through mental changes as far as like how has how is my responsibility going to change to lead a family mm -hmm. so i'm glad that you said that because it's good to know and it's good for the fellas to know too amen um, that's what we're here for we, yeah we're here to talk to the men and exactly. the women and obviously the couples yeah. you know just to bring more 
strength to a relationship. Yeah. So this is what we're here for. Yeah, of course. And so um, before I say the, the next point, two words that you used that, that really, really stood out to me was embrace and adaptation because mm. that's so important. Like when you're going through these changes, of course, it's so foreign. It's right. so new. But you have to learn to embrace it because if you don't, when these challenges do come, because there will be challenges in the in the first trimester of pregnancy, you have to learn how to deal with it. And right. it's through embracing the changes and understanding that everything is not going to be easy. Right. And once you embrace, you can then adapt. Yeah. You can learn how to navigate through these changes that are happening in life. So I'm glad that you said that when you said those two words, embrace and adaptation, I was like, Facts. Yeah. <laughs> and then not only that, I, as you were talking, the other thing that makes it difficult for that first trimester for the man's pr point of view is mm -hmm. that all these things are happening inside of you that the man doesn't necessarily see yet. Yeah. Like there's no yeah. there's no baby bump yet. Yeah. It's, yeah. That hasn't happened yet. So. Mm -hmm. You're still looking at your 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 girl. You're looking at your woman like, oh, she she's the same, but actually she's not. Every yeah. day something is changing. Something so, is changing. Like, like everything is growing inside of her, mm -hmm. and her she is actually changing yeah. quite a bit. But yeah. you're not seeing that change. So exactly. you visually not seeing anything also can be a little difficult, I guess, from the man's perspective. Just too, like psychologically, like, yeah, 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 yeah. But in that second trimester, that's when that baby buff starts to come. She's yeah, because I'm she's starting start, to show now. She's starting and to get a little something, <laughs> something right there. <laughs> yeah, towards the, uh, I would say, latter part of the first trimester, like I definitely have, it, the the belly is starting to, to mm -hmm. round out, it's more firm, and, yeah. you know, you can see that, I can see, that life is is forming. Yeah, and, so, and it's such a thrill too. Yeah, like to actually see it yeah. starting to come. But yep. we'll, we'll touch on that on yep. a later video yep. today. We're talking about just that first, just trimester. first trimester. So let's talk about Me. your experiences yeah. in that first trimester. How has it been for you? It was a whirlwind of emotions for me because okay. the first trimester, you know, one to three months of pregnancy, the first month. You don't really know you're pregnant. At least for me, I didn't know that I was pregnant the first month. It wasn't until uh, a few weeks later that I started to notice like, all right, something, <laughs> something's not right here. Things aren't coming when it's supposed to. Yeah. And then once I got that confirmation, it was like my body was like go time. Yeah. And it hit me full fledged. And I got majority of the symptoms that pregnant women experience throughout the first trimester. I mean, so, every, everyone that I have heard of and, and even ones and even ones that I've never heard of <laughs> yes. you had the symptom yeah so, so you got the full Monty so you know fellas and ladies listen up to what we got to say because <laughs> she has gone through all the symptoms the ups the downs of yes. all of it and uh yes. yeah so and, and and you know I feel awful pregnancy is no joke I've been off it the past few days and I can't keep anything down and these god awful smells. My I, goodness. I can't cook anything without her. About to yak. Continue. The first trimester and the symptoms that come with it will look different for every woman. Yes. But for me, I got hit with all the symptoms and when it hit me, it like hit me full fledged and so it was a little rough for me. I'm not gonna lie. It was a little rough for me in the beginning because it wasn't like we were planning for a pregnancy. So I right. didn't go in with this mindset of this is the next chapter. It, we got a blessing. We yeah. got a surprise, which we're very excited about. But it was hard for me to just go from my life being one way with, and then within 24 hours it shifted. Right. So mentally things had changed and it took a while for me to adjust to that because I couldn't move the way that I could move before. Yep. I couldn't think the way that I could think before because yeah. I'm now thinking for the betterment, the betterment of our entire family and the health of our child and the health of myself. You know, I have so many things to think about. So it was a little bit of a challenge for me, I would say mentally and also physically. The morning sickness, my goodness. And I don't even know why they call it morning sickness because I wasn't just sick in the morning. <laughs> I was, was sick all day. day. All so day. <laughs> it was like between the morning sickness, the food aversion, the smells, uh, you know, the cramps, everything you can think of. It, and did you guys yeah. know, this was news to me, mm -hmm. that 
nosebleeds are part of uh, is a symptom of pregnancy i didn't know that yeah. she she had that symptom as well which is just crazy yeah which i did um, not know until i i googled it because i was a little concerned i initially just toted it to my allergies you know right. some of our og followers will know that i have really bad allergies and we kind of highlight it in the bloopers and whatnot but um her, between her and our dog journey every morning it's it's a musical trumpet band playing basically <laughs> um, but uh yeah that's another story yeah but so i just initially toted it to allergies but when it happened on multiple occasions within a few days i was a little concerned like right. okay is everything okay so i started doing research and of course i later learned that nosebleeds are common with Crazy. with pregnancy Crazy. because of the hormones the certain vessels in your nose can can um, like break yeah. and cause nosebleeds. And it's not anything to be concerned about. But, you know, if, if you are concerned, obviously talk to your doctor about right. it. But for me, I was just like, yo, I had this too. I even text, text my sisters because the majority of them have kids. So, and so, hold on, let me just say this one part. The majority of them have kids. And I texted them and I said, so y'all didn't tell me nosebleeds were a symptom. Like, are you are you kidding me? And they responded and said, that's the first one for me. So <laughs> it, it just goes to show that yeah. pregnancy Every looks different on everyone. And yeah. the symptoms that you get may vary. So now, now mm -hmm. what would you say was the hardest symptom from the first trimester of pregnancy? I wouldn't say that it was a symptom per se that was the hardest. Well, it was actually a combination. It was a symptom and just challenges mm -hmm. and par for the course that comes with the first trimester and it's okay. going to happen throughout your entire pregnancy but i would say the nausea and vomiting because i actually did vomit some people don't vomit they're just very nauseous the whole time right i would say the nausea and vomiting combined throughout the day was really tough for me and the food aversion was very tough for me yeah. because it was hard for me to wrap my mind around foods that I love so much. I'm now repulsed by. Right. So I was just like, this is weird. So that was a, and not having an appetite, like all of those kind of symptoms clumped together yeah. were obstacles for me because it makes it difficult for you to be productive and, and move throughout the day when you feel really crappy. Right. So that, and then also all the labs, like, they don't tell you how much mm. blood work you have to get done, especially in the first trimester, yeah. because as the baby continues to grow, there are so many things that they now can check for during certain stages of the pregnancy. So when the baby's a certain number of weeks, they can test for this. When the mm -hmm. baby's between this range, they test for that. And so it was just crazy to me how much they can test for, how much blood is drawn and what they're looking for. It wasn't necessarily a um, it wasn't hard. Um, but it was just something that I, I didn't, didn't know expect. and I didn't expect. And yeah. with that comes a feeling of scariness, I guess. That's not the right word. That's not the word exactly that I was looking for. But a little scary because that's when they're checking for, you know, it is, is everything developing properly? Yeah. You know, do they have this? Do they have autism? Do they have yeah. that? And I'm just like, you know, fearful because it's the waiting. It's the waiting for the results. The results. That, yeah. That can be pretty scary yeah. because i mean everybody wants their baby to be healthy yes and the fact that they can test now nowadays for so many things beforehand early on by the yeah. blood work mm -hmm. and the blood work for me as well mm -hmm. it's great but it's also a little nerve-wracking yeah it's nerve-wracking like, yeah i want to get those results so yeah. i can make sure that my everything baby doesn't is good have any illnesses yeah. that we have to look out for exactly and, you know if if it if that is the case then you know we we plan accordingly, but yeah. we, nobody and it's wants a blessing that. to know early on so that yeah. you can prepare early, but you know, everyone hopes and prays for the healthiest baby possible. Right. And so that was a little nerve wracking for me because you're already, you already go in knowing that the first trimester yeah. has the most uncertainty where miscarriages are prone to happen. So you're already kind of going through the first trimester. Like, I just hope everything right. is okay. And, the baby's good. The baby's going to make it. Right. Mama's going to be good. Mm -hmm. And then you hear the doctor say, oh, now we're going to test for this. Now we need to make sure you're not a carrier for that. And now it's, and it's just like, oh, my gosh, it's so many things. But the good <laughs> thing, the other, the, the other yeah. part of that is that it's good once the results do come in and you do get the validation or you do get the clarification Peace of, mind. Yeah. of that your baby is doing fine, is mm -hmm. healthy, and not carriers 
of trait. Both both people aren't carriers of traits. Like I carry the trait for sickle cell yeah. disease. Mm-hmm. And if she was to have the sickle cell uh, disease trait, just the trait, then most likely the child our, would have sickle cell. Anemia. Our child would have sickle cell anemia. Um, so since I carry it, and she, but she does not because yeah. she tested for that, then don't have to worry about it. Right. And and like and like you said, you are the carrier for that. I found out, which I didn't even know, um, but it was through blood work, you know, and like you were saying, it's good that doctors can test things early on. And I agree with that. But it does have some some feelings of just like, oh, my gosh, I hope everything is OK. I recently found out that I'm a carrier for cystic fibrosis mm. and I, I didn't know that until she did the labs and then we had to get you tested to ensure that you're not a carrier for it because yeah. if so, then the baby, there's a higher chance that the baby would have cystic fibrosis, which yeah. Do you remember the percentages? Um, Not per se, but maybe we can put it down at the bottom if anybody's interested yeah, or we'll, whatever. We'll, we'll try to get yeah. more information on like the more, the, the likelihood if, both people are carriers. I believe she said it was like a 25% chance that the that the child could have cystic oh, fibrosis. Okay, because so, I know with the sickle cell, if you were to have the sickle cell trait yeah. as well, mm-hmm. it would be much higher than that. Yeah, it would be I, like, think it's, I think she said 25%. I oh, think she said it's it 25%. Be more than that. Um, but regardless. Yeah, but I could double check. Yeah, yeah. we could double check we'll double if anybody's check. interested. Um, but yeah, so there were things that I didn't even know that I was a carrier of, which is great. It's eye-opening because technology has changed so much where they can look into these yeah. things so far in advance yeah but you're kind of waiting for the results yeah. like oh you're is everything the, okay so, so there's a couple of days where you're waiting for the results so mm-hmm. like a week or, or yeah. so where you're waiting is nerve-wracking yeah. but on the other side of that it's yeah. actually a, a peace of mind because now you have the data and the information mm-hmm. that you need to, to move accordingly to move accordingly and hopefully yep. the baby is fine and healthy mm-hmm. and you can put that kind of on the back burner and then you know obviously you still are very concerned for the baby in the second and third trimester and in all the way up until you know pregnancy Mm -hmm. um but having that peace of mind of of the results that you do have that come out come back good yeah you're happy about exactly you're happy about um so that was just kind of on the darker side of things as far as like the challenges, the the obstacles, but I want to say darker, but okay, well maybe not darker. All right, maybe not darker. Mm. Though those are the things that people doesn't don't necessarily want to talk about the the challenges or the obstacles that are yeah. faced within the first trimester. They're not dark, but just times that people keep on a hush normally and mm-hmm. don't really openly express. But it's important too because it is, and that's why we that's why we for, have these yeah. conversations. I mean, we're, so we're, people we're, know that they're not going through it alone, right? That's why we have this podcast where we're really just trying to be as real as possible, be as yeah. authentic as possible. And me and Jen, we 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 authentic like we're not going to sugarcoat anything yeah. like we truly try to have the best interest of other people at heart yeah. and provide some information that actually is going to be valuable to pregnant women, to to couples to relationships expecting and fathers expecting yeah. fathers like this is what we want to do and this is what we're sharing so mm-hmm. please if you're getting any value from this subscribe to our channel like our content comment down below we want to build a community of people that want to build better longer lasting relationships mm-hmm. while and, and in this series we're talking about pregnancy so if you've gone through it or if you're doing it right now mm-hmm. this is the series that you want to tune into we're going to have content every week so we're having like right now we're going through that first trimester Mm -hmm. or we went we went through the first trimester so now we're talking about that as we enter the second trimester we're gonna have more videos about that Mm -hmm. and just tune into the content i think it's gonna be great going forward yeah for sure so before we even wrap things up because we still got more to talk about but we just wanted y'all to just really know that we're doing it because we want people to understand that it's not just about us. It's about us wanting to share experiences with you guys because we get that, you know, you can't do it alone. It takes a community. It takes yeah. a tribe of people to, to band together to really get through things. And so we're getting through it the best way that we can. And we hope that this information helps you guys along the way and that you find it educational. You find it funny. You find it beneficial in any way. Um, so now that we talked about the, the obstacles and some of the challenges that you know, we went through during the first trimester. What are some highlights 
um, that you experienced in the first trimester? Because mm. I know I got some. So yeah. I'm just wondering, what were, what were some of the highs that, that you experienced in the first trimester? I mean, I would say after the initial shock of knowing that you're pregnant, mm-hmm. like even though the symptoms were not good for you and not good for us. I mean, nobody (laughs) wants to have to feel bad and everything like that, but it also gave a realization that, Mm. wow, you actually are pregnant. You are going through all these symptoms and man, my wife is Mm -hmm. really about to be a mother out here. Yeah. Beautiful. So that's a high Uh and it's a, it's a constant high because this is an ongoing process for the next Mm -hmm. six months months six seven months that you're still going to be pregnant it's like wow so that's a high i would say oh another high for (laughs) sure was telling the family yes that's what i was gonna say but it's all good telling the family share highs (laughs) i mean (laughs) that is such a great moment yeah and you know i recorded it oh i yeah. mean you know i recorded it we, we, y'all know shane if any of y'all know him personally <laughs> or know him through social media you know he's gonna have the camera out or something recorded <laughs> please believe please believe yeah but um the moment was just spectacular definitely your family because we did it on thanksgiving yeah and Right after the prayer, after everybody's holding hands, it was like, what, 30, 40 people deep? Yeah, it was like 30 people. Yeah, like mm-hmm. 30 people deep. We all holding hands and we did the prayer. You did the prayer. Yeah. And then after that, right after the prayer, we said, you know, we have one more surprise <laughs> going into 2023. It's going to be an incredible 2023 yeah. for everybody, but particularly us. We're pregnant! Hey! When I saw my mom's two feet leave the ground <laughs> <laughs> and my sister tiffany was uh, crying so hard it just it just made me feel so good yeah. just to see all of the emotion in the room i mean everyone was so excited like my nieces were on the ground like holding each other my uncle was crying my grandparents were there um my dad was standing there everyone just looked so proud and and for me it, because they they know that you know our mindset was a little different in terms of just what l- our lifestyle looked like for us in terms of it we were very content with it just being us two and a dog yeah and a dog yeah and so them kind of also am just embracing that and saying like hey it is what it is they don't want kids yeah and to get this surprise they were just so overjoyed because they're like I know you guys will make great parents and it was a so, true shock it was a true shock but it was such a celebration it was like as if the super bowl it was the super bowl or yeah. something it was such a great <laughs> feeling and like even surprising your family and yep. seeing how excited they are because your family's very yeah. small and oh, you- i can't believe it just seeing their reaction and how excited they are and you know, them being able to expand, the fa- your family is now expanded and growing and your aunts will be able to see new life come up and be a part of that. It was just such an amazing feeling and they're just so happy for us. And your aunt, <laughs> she called me, I love her to death. She called me and was like, let me know if you need anything on Amazon, but be specific so I can send it to the house. <laughs> um, yeah. just to, you know, we just have such a community of people that not only want the best for us, but want the best for the baby yeah. and yeah. we have such a great support system so sharing the news just felt so good it felt really good and friends too i mean yeah there were some friends that i will say days but i mean dropped to their knees in yeah. shock like yeah what yeah it just overjoy it was mm-hmm. just great um from friends from family from followers mm-hmm. everybody you know just, just the outpour of support. Outpour of support. It was and, so overwhelming. But and in a, uh, great way. A, a lot of shock, too, because yeah. nobody saw it coming. Nobody. Because, I mean, anybody who would ask us uh, prior to us being uh, pregnant, w- we would say, Yeah, we don't really want kids. And they're like, What? You don't want kids? Mm-hmm. It was such a shock to people. Yeah. But, I mean, this is kind of the lifestyle that we kind of wanted. Embracing just a kid free lifestyle and it being yeah. us two and a dog. Um, we didn't have any intentions on growing the family outside of that. But then once it happened, it's like, what? Yeah. So everybody was shocked. Mm -hmm. We we were too, but we embrace it, man. Mm -hmm. This is God's plan. Yeah. And I think that is so beautiful that this isn't 
exactly what we had in our plans, but God had a different plan for us. Mm -hmm. He had a story that he knew all along Mm -hmm. that now we're starting to see play out in a bigger fashion that we're like, okay, this is, this is what the plan was. Yeah. I I didn't know that, but you get to see it in real time. It's like, Hmm, this is what you have planned for us. Wow. Yes. And it's been amazing to see for me personally. And I will say for you, I've noticed a, a shift as well, how the mentality has changed from like month one, uh, into month three, now into month four, into the second trimester. It's, it's all about just growth, expansion, family, and understanding the assignment and understanding the responsibility and that our mission is now to be parents. And it's something so beautiful about that. And, you know, we will always hear friends and family say, the most amazing experience that you will ever experience is having a child. Mm-hmm. And I'm always like, oh, really? I know. You know, like, really? But now that I am growing life inside of me, well, we, I'm s- we still don't know that. No, no, I'm saying but- we, we, still, we still don't know fully yeah. because we haven't had the child yet. Right. But I'm just saying now that life is growing inside of me, I am starting to understand and unlock yeah. certain parts of what they mean by that. Mm. Because one of the highs for me was seeing our baby in a sonogram yeah, and being having the um, sonographer say, you want to pull your camera out for this and just hearing the heartbeat and seeing the baby's leg and seeing he or she, because we, we still don't know yet. Don't By the know. way, we did get the results, but we're doing a gender reveal, so we, we don't know um, just yet. But yeah. just seeing the baby kicked up like that, and I'm like, this is all happening inside of me right now. It was it was really beautiful to see, and I think moments like that, it made me start to better understand what current parents mean when they say you don't know what it's like until – Right. You know, you bring a child into this world and <laughs> our child isn't here yet, but our child is growing and seeing that it's mind blowing. It's right. like, oh, my gosh, like, wow, I'm a whole mother out here right now, mother to be. And so it was just it was surreal, but in the most beautiful yeah. way. And it was just very it was it was really cool to see unfolding like, wow, this is something that we created and this is our our newest and biggest responsibility. Right. And I, mm-hmm. I will second that because that's another high for me. The yeah. sonogram, mm-hmm. the first sonogram that we did. And then definitely the second sonogram definitely the because second. the first sonogram was just great because it's like, what? It's like, like I'm really it's here. there. It's like, in there. <laughs> like, we're, really, we're really here right now. You get jelly put on your belly. Yeah. And, and, and look at it. Look at on the screen and seeing a little, a li- blob. A little blob. Like yeah. it literally was a blob. It was the size of what a, a, a jelly, jelly bean. bean. Yeah. It, it didn't even have any forms of no. of, of uh, legs or arms yet. Yeah, no. Um, but just seeing that was like mm-hmm. whoa. And mm-hmm. then the second sonogram was a little bit even more surreal because you could see the baby had formed just in the two weeks, three yeah. weeks that we had gone the first time. Mm-hmm. And now the baby had long legs. We'll put up a picture. Like, yeah. you, 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 I'm going to put the picture up right now. You <laughs> see, look at the picture. All right. That's the baby chilling right there. You see them long <laughs> legs right there? Like, wow. Yes. That's a boy, by the way, I, ho- I think. You like, <laughs> we don't have the results yet. So you <laughs> like, that's a boy, whole girl in there. <laughs> Um, but uh, yeah, I would say that was definitely a high. Both I'm ready. times going and getting the sonogram and seeing that, and <laughs> truly, your heart grows 10x when you just see that sonogram and mm-hmm. say, "Wow, this is really happening." Yes, my, my wife is carrying our child, mm-hmm. and seeing that little form of life starting to grow within yes. you and being able to hear the heartbeat. I mean, instantly your heart is just like, wow, like that's, that's mine. Yes. That's yeah. my baby. Yes. So I would say those two were my highs for sure. Not to say that there weren't other highs, but definitely surprising the family and our friends with the news and seeing their reactions was such a high. Um, just an outpour of love <clears throat> from friends and family on social media. I mean, when I looked up and saw the response from everyone and the messages and the calls that we received it was just it was so overwhelming to know that 
so many people love us near and afar and are just so supportive of our growth and where we are. That meant a lot to me and a lot to us. And then seeing the sonogram, I was just like, my goodness, that was that was amazing. So, you know, we don't want to get too deep into it because this is just us discussing an overview of what the first trimester is like. And we know we got the second trimester that we're going to cover in the third. So to wrap things up, what are some some expectations that you think parents to be should look out for in the first trimester? Just given what we've gone through. That's a great segue. So expectations is i would say first off be patient Mm -hmm. um definitely Mm -hmm. from a man's point of view you have to be patient and you have to realize that there is changes happening yeah um for both people but definitely the woman that you have to be patient along the journey and and realize that this is something different than you've ever done before Mm -hmm. if this is your first child Mm -hmm. so being patient um you you have to have that expectation you have to have the expectation that you need to start moving differently mm-hmm. and thinking differently and having just a different mentality mm-hmm. bringing a child into the world. I would say the other expectation is to know that there will be days that are going to be tough, mm-hmm. definitely for your lady mm-hmm. and maybe days where she's not feeling good all day, right. maybe a couple of days she's not feeling mm-hmm. good. Um, just from nausea and morning sickness and just the symptoms of pregnancy and all the different changes going on, the hormones changing Mm -hmm. and everything. You have to be patient within that as the man. Um, You have to realize that these changes are a blessing overall. Yeah. Um, And just having that expectation going in so that you can have that patience and you can continue to look at it in a positive way, even though there might be tough days in that first trimester, Mm -hmm. just looking at it from that expectation. Yeah, that's, that's great. That's a great point. Now, what would you say your expectations for, for women expecting just like moms to be? Um, I would say that pregnancy looks different on every woman. Mm. So really try not to base someone else's base your experience off of someone else's pregnancy because Mm -hmm what may have worked for them or something they didn't go through, you may go through. Mm -hmm. Now it's great to also rely on moms that have gone through it so that they can help coach you or guide you through the trimester, um, the first trimester. But I would say definitely don't go in thinking that your pregnancy may be just like the next person's because it looks so different. Mm -hmm. As I mentioned, I got all the symptoms where some of my sisters didn't really have any symptoms or they don't remember it it being that rough for them. Mm -hmm. So I would say know that pregnancy looks different on every person and listen to your body. You really have to listen to your body. If your body is telling you to slow down, you have to slow down. We're very busy people. We used to, you know, we're used to being on the go and walking five miles and doing this and doing that. I I couldn't do that in the first trimester. I didn't work out in the first trimester. I had to relax. I had to slow down. I had to listen to my body and allow my body to go through these changes the best way it knows how to to create life. And so I would definitely say learn to be patient because we want things to just be over and, and done with. And you just have to be patient. You have to listen to your body um embrace the changes like you said is something that's very important and in the first trimester we watched quite a few youtube videos that other people posted about what to expect ask a lot of questions in your doctor's appointment that's a good one it's that is the time where if you don't know do some research ask questions really talk to your doctors because there was stuff that like i said i had found out that i carried a trait of cystic fibrosis which i didn't know But it was great to talk to the doctor and learn about what they're testing for, why they're testing for, how does this impact me, how does it impact the baby, what are some good questions to ask, what changes are things that I should be concerned about and things that are totally normal during a pregnancy. So there's a lot of moving parts in the first trimester, although there aren't many physical changes, you're going through a lot of hormonal changes, emotional changes, spiritual changes physical changes from the symptoms and the nausea and and whatever else may come with it 
And and also another one is relationship changes. And relationship changes. Yeah. yeah because yeah. that's something we could talk about in another video. Yes. This video is getting kind of lengthy. Yeah. But as far as like the relationship definitely changes as well. Mm -hmm. And you have to adapt and you yeah. have to embrace the changes like we've been saying overall. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But the relationship definitely takes a, a different spin that it's never taken before if that yeah. if this is your first child together yes. and something another thing that you have to mm -hmm. go in with the expectations of as well yep <clears throat> and with that said we hope you guys really enjoyed this video again this is just an overall viewpoint of what the first trimester has been like for us what our experience has been like and we really do hope that you guys got some value from it found it very educational and Hope that these expectations will help you if you are in your pregnancy right now or if you are parents hoping to become pregnant very soon. So with that said, we're going to sign off for today. My name is Jen. And I am Shane. And we are the Yambors. Enjoy the journey. <laughs> <laughs> Peace. That was actually good. Yeah, keep it. <laughs>